Yes, President-elect Joe Biden has uh, announced his former rival, Pete Buttigieg, as United States Transportation Secretary. This makes Buttigieg the first of Biden's Democratic rivals for the presidency to land a role in his cabinet. The 38-year-old is a former mayor of South Bend, Indiana. This is being seen as another political leap for the young leader after he showed surprising strength as a presidential candidate. Biden said in a statement that he nominated Pete Buttigieg because of the position stands at the nexus of so many of interlocking challenges and opportunities ahead of his administration. He further said that jobs, infrastructure, equity and climate all come together at the dot, the site of some of our most ambitious plans to build back better. If confirmed by the Senate, uh, he would run a sprawling federal agency that oversees the United States airlines, highways and transit systems. Buttigieg may be charged with overseeing much of Biden's plan to dramatically boost infrastructure spending, which includes building over 500,000 electric vehicle charging stations across America and boost spending on high-speed rail and other green projects as well. One of the main challenges Buttigieg would face is convincing Congress for the new spending. Since 2008, Congress has transferred about $141 billion in general revenues to the Highway Trust Fund. Government auditors say the Biden administration will need $107 billion over the next five years to just maintain the existing spending levels. Buttigieg is also expected to face challenges on aviation with plans to overhaul how the Federal Aviation Administration will certify new airplanes, especially after two fatal Boeing 737 MAX crashes that led to the planes grounding for 20 months. He would also have to decide how to oversee self-driving cars and driver assistance systems like Tesla's. In the recent past, autopilot systems have come under scrutiny following fatal crashes. Buttigieg was also make history as the first openly gay cabinet secretary to be approved by the U.S. Senate. The Human Rights Campaign, which is the nation's largest advocacy group for the LGBTQ community, praised this nomination. Bori said that Buttigieg was open and honest about his identity and give a voice to the community. Buttigieg had been rumored for several different spots in Biden administration. However, Buttigieg's nomination has been opposed by a number of progressive groups and black leaders who have criticized his record on civil rights. He has been accused of ignoring the systemic racism in South Bend as a mayor. He also was criticized over the death of a black man by a white police officer and the lack of diversity on the city's police force. Joe Biden, at 78 years old, may only serve one term as the President of America, while Vice President-elect Kamala Harris could be the leading contender to succeed him. Buttigieg's transportation post will allow him to travel to communities across the country and remain in the public eye, something that could buttress a future presidential run.